Okay, so first off, I want to say thank you for meeting me here, and I appreciate taking time out of your busy schedule. Um, I'm going to be interviewing you with a couple questions about your cultural background, uh, so let's get started. The first one, what is your name and where are you originally from? Um, well, I, my name is Yifei Bing, and I come from Shanghai, China. When did you move here, and why did you choose to come to America? Well, I think I'll be here is um, 2011, August, and well, my first choice is not here, <laughs> but I don't know why I'm here, just here. Like this. <laughs> um, what were some of the biggest challenges you faced when you first arrived? Well, is mm, I'm not really good at English when I first hear, and I don't understand what people are talking. <laughs> well, it's confusing me a lot. <laughs> that that's how that happens. <laughs> I I agree. <laughs> uh, how did you cope with these challenges when you were here? Well, because my uncle-in-law, he is a resident here, so he helps me a lot. Um, what are some challenges that you still face today and how are you coping with these challenges? I think it's the culture. Oh. Because if, when I'm working with child, with the kids, mm -hmm. I think sometimes it has problems. Mm -hmm. um, what do you miss most about your home country? Actually, it's food. The food. <laughs> 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 is it really different from yeah, our country? Yeah, it's really different it's because some of some of the, my friends talk me about the Panda Express. <laughs> yeah, they said it's the traditional Chinese food, but totally true, it's not. And it's not. Huh? <laughs> it's really, really different. So I really miss the food. <laughs> I agree with you. Panda is extremely not the typical Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Let's see. What support services like clubs, organizations, government agencies, etc., have you helped have helped you transition transition into the United States? Actually, if any. No, I didn't go to any clubs in here. I know. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Uh, what are some things that you like the most about living in the United States? Um. Well, I like traveling. With my friends in here, I travel a lot. <laughs> <laughs> where Where do you travel to? Um, I went to the LA, uh, San Francisco, Sacramento, Seattle, like something oh, like that's this. Fun. So yeah. I bet it's very different from what you're used to. Like, well, to actually, in here we can drive. We can drive in myself, like traveling, because in China we just like go to the train or airplane to traveling a lot. Oh. Yeah, so it's different. Very different, yeah. yeah. So it's like a quick quick car ride yeah. for you here compared to back in China. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That's cool. Uh, let's see. What are some things that you like them? Oh, I already did. Okay. If you have family living here, how are they adjusting into the American culture? Well, I hope my family <laughs> live here with my with me. Mm -hmm. But, well, I... I asked my parents before if something like they want to live here, mm -hmm. and my parents just told me they never <laughs> want to live here. <laughs> did they give, did they give their reasons why they didn't want to live here? Well, because they told me they have the friends and they have the families like my grandparents and mm -hmm. the siblings. They all live in Shanghai, so. That's the reason. So do you, are there, um, do you communicate with them on a regular basis then, since they don't live here? Like with Skype or um, phone calls? Well, I'm not sure how to do this. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Um, oh, that was, yeah, that was my, yeah, if you have family living abroad, uh -huh. communication with them. Do you like email? Or? Um, actually, we don't use the email huh? too much. We just use the Skype. The Skype. Yeah. That's, and you do it like frequently, or is it like? Well, I can email. 
with my family, like frequently, we I call them once a week. Once a week. Yeah. Just to catch up and see what they're doing and. Yeah, and I text with my brother just every day, like, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, um, and lastly, how can people prepare for life in the U.S. before traveling to America? Before traveling here. Mm -hmm. Like, how did you prepare before you came here? Um. Actually, <laughs> I didn't prepare a lot. <laughs> I just. Well, got the tickets and well, I said oh, okay. I go there time and I just do. <laughs> Did you um, like look up different colleges around here and then decided to choose UNR or how well, did that okay. work? Okay, um, my first choice is not here. I cho I want to choose the Las Vegas UNLV. Oh. Yeah, this is my first choice, but um, because I'm the international students, mm -hmm. before I go to the college or university, they want us to go to the IELC, the English Learning Center. Mm -hmm. But uh, in UNLV, they don't have this, and just in UNR. So oh. they just they suggest me I can transfer here. Mm -hmm. Oh, if I want, I can transfer back. Oh. Yeah. So are you planning on then transferring back to UNLV or staying here? I think staying here. Staying here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, and lastly, how how do you feel about life here? Like, would you, do you want to go straight back to China once you're done with your education here, or do you uh, want to stay? Yeah, I will go back when I graduate. When graduate. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. Well, thank you for taking time meeting with me and I have learned a lot just in the few minutes I've been talking with you and I'm sure everyone else will be learning just as much so I thank you. Thank you.